Hi, I'm Rizwan Manji, and I'm gonna tell you, please, don't be alone with Jake Hogan. Don't be alone with Jake Hogan. Hi, and welcome to Don't Be Alone with Jake Hogan. I'm Jake Hogan, and uh, this is a show where I get interesting and smart people to work out my own personal problems. Hopefully, we can grow closer in the process. Um, as I say, I am a, if you don't know me, I'm a writer, comedy writer, performer, and philosopher, and now pod show host. That is a very exciting thing to be because that's where the big money is these days, podcasting. You can see the podcasting. I built this studio on top of a house because podcasting's everything. It's a billion, billion dollar idea. Today, we're going to be talking with a great actor, and uh, and performer and a guy I worked with for many years. His name is Rizwan Manji, and he is just really smart, very interesting guy. Uh, he's Canadian. Please forgive him. Uh, he's from I think he was born in Ontario and then raised in Calgary. And some of the funniest people I know are from Calgary. So uh, he's already starting there. Uh, great. I wanted to uh, talk with Riz about being in a box. Like people know me for some things, but I'm trying to be other things. And how do you break out of that box? How do you get unlabeled or relabeled something else? Like I'm an actor. Nobody hires me for acting. I'm a, I'm a comedian sort of. Uh, and, but, but you know, people think of me mostly as a writer or somebody who can be behind the camera, even though I spent years in front of the camera. People know me as a comedy writer. I want to write drama stuff. And so when I write drama stuff, people look at me funny. And I, I wrote a historical drama and my agents were like, what is this? This isn't what you normally do. And so they, they put it in a drawer and said, we can't sell this. Well, maybe they couldn't sell it because it was horrible, but maybe they couldn't sell it because that's not the kind of stuff that people expect from me. So I want to open the doors to possibilities for me and for all of us. So I want to talk about that with Riz, who uh, you know is South Asian and has had to break down a lot of doors himself. I also want to uh, ask you if you've got any suggestions or questions, feel free to write to me at dbawjakehogan at gmail.com. That's D-B-A-W-J-A-Y-K-O-G-E-N at gmail.com. I take listener questions and we do a question at the end of every show so please write in with your questions but your comments your suggestions anything else i like to get to know you and keep in contact with you so uh we'll we'll hopefully talk soon anyway now here's the conversation i had with riz don't be alone with jay kogan i am so thrilled to have one of my favorite actors of all time join us uh, Rizwan is one of the greatest actors, greatest people. I met you on a pilot we did many years ago, and it was just a small bit for me. It was for a pilot. It was a, like I wrote it as an afterthought, kind of as a thing, and it was such a starring role. It was such a magical piece that you made the pilot so much better oh, that's so than sweet. what it started out to be just because of who you are as an actor as a funny guy as a thoughtful person i mean, you've uh, f the audience will know you from Shit's creek uh, perfect harmony the magicians uh, outsourced charlie wilson's war oh my god oh that uh, was a long time ago <laughs> and, and one of the things i was shocked to, i tuned in because i'm a total nerd to see beauty and the beast 30th anniversary and then there you were singing and dancing yes Something... and i am not a singer or a dancer so the well, fact that that happened on live yeah. on live television yeah. is something i can say i did it that's amazing turns out you are a singer and dancer. <laughs> turns out i can i can yeah. do something all right so so rizwan thank you for being thank here. you um, so I, I, I have a good topic for today, but I also just wanted to, before I went, the, the topic, I'll, I'll go with the topic because the topic, and then we'll talk about why I think you're the great guy to talk about it. Awesome. So the topic is this, I started out as an actor and when you start out as an actor, young, you know, was 16 years old, uh, kind of chubby, Jewishy guy. So there's a call out for, you know, the chubby, chubby Jewishy guy friend. And you go to the call and there's 40 of me <laughs> sitting in a room. There's just chubby guys with, you know, baseball caps and blue shirts all sitting in a room. That's the type, right? But I never got called for the other type, for something <laughs> other than that. And I, 
And now that I am, I've, I've been a comedy writer for many years. I've been a sort of a stand-up comedian performer for a while. And now I'm trying this thing, which is a uh, uh, weird uh, uh, podcasting to ju jump into podcasting well after it's too late to be a podcaster, <laughs> which is a perfect. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how do I convince the world that I there's more to me than what they thought. Here's so if if, if I if there's a you know just a label that people want to paste on me, it's yeah. Jay Kogan comedy you know comedy writer or uh, you know. Not they don't really think of me as an actor. They don't think of me as a comedian. No friends aren't calling me up to do parts anymore so much. So I'm just a comedy writer. But I wrote drama. I write movies, and people think of me as a TV comedy writer. They think of me in a very limited sense. And like, what? How can I expand the worldview of who people think I am, or what people think I can be? And 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 this doesn't go just for show business it's yeah. also like my friends they'll invite me <laughs> to a poker game but they won't invite me to a ballet they'll invite me to certain things but not other things and so so I, and i'm asking you this because you are very versatile you know and in, in a million ways and and people don't necessarily know you're canadian people don't necessarily know you know that that you went to drama school they don't necessarily know that your gifts if they've seen you in dramas, they don't know how funny you are. And if they've seen you in comedies, they don't know that you can play drama. And if the, and no one knew that you could sing and dance. Exactly. So, so like you've you've stretched it out in what could be you could be pigeonholed in a very tiny hole. And I think you're pushing the boundaries of who you are. Well, it's it's really funny that you're asking me this because I was literally just thinking about this. Uh, because as much as it feels like I have done different things in my world, I feel like I'm in the same boat as you. Like I constantly, the comedy stuff is, well, cause we're talking, we'll, we'll talk about the business first, right. right? Right. The comedy stuff is now that I have, you know, with Shit's Creek mm -hmm. and uh, um, the other stuff that I've done. If there's a comedy thing that's looking for you know, where you're saying, uh, you said Jewish. I'm saying right. so, somebody brown that right. may have a mustache. Right. Well, I think we're so, we're literally very similar, right. but we're in the, in like I'm just brown, right? Nur than mm -hmm. you are. Sure. And so that's after, been after, the, after a good day in Palm Springs, <laughs> I can compete you, a little you, bit. You, I can compete. So yeah. now I'm going to see you sure. at audition. Yeah, exactly. Now I have one more person to compete <laughs> against. Um, but I, but it's you, they'll see me for that. Does right. that make sense? Yeah, yeah. But I've been having a very, very hard time with uh, the dramatic stuff. Okay. And I've done it. Like, I started, yeah. that's what I started right. off doing. And it's been, there's been a lot of stuff that's come up. Um, actually, a movie that I ended up doing, uh, I it, I got so much pushback to the point where they were like, no. Like, ev at, at every level, they were like, he's not he's not right for this. And it was because it was going to be, it was a dramatic Pushback role. from the executives? From, from like, who? About, like, so it ended up happening that there was, there was an executive that was, um, that was, that was like, look, we love him. We mm -hmm. sh we should we we should we should get him. And then I think it was even to the point where the director and some of the, the other producers who were like, no, we don't we don't we don't we don't see that because in their minds they're like he's this like bumbling guy from Shit's Creek. And so it was very hard for me to convince them. Even when you're doing like you can show like you can be like here's my tape, here's right. the stuff. Right. You can show them that you're. I think it's very hard for people to take. Uh, take something and you know we're, we're shit's creek now has been seen by so many right. people to take to get that character Did out of somebody's mind is these very hard auditions in person or on tape the, well, this is it's all very reason i mean this stuff has been happening my 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 whole career right. since like outsourced when right. the when the funny guy came right. in um but i mean this particular movie th is yes it was it was through a um uh like a Zoom because, because it's all every but Zoom live and with people like you can That's take right. directions. That's okay. right. That's right. I feel like the interaction is the trick to show everybody, oh my God, whatever my expectations well, that's were. What, that's what I thought. Yeah. But I think it's hard for people to separate 
your i don't know that's what i'm i mean now i'm asking you to help yeah, me out no, instead of me I helping you out hey it's we we are sharing this together that's we, the whole point of this it's called don't be alone with jake hogan so we're not alone yeah oh that's, that's good a, that's, that's good. the whole point uh, but, but, you, but you, i i do think that like i miss that in auditions i miss uh, just seeing a tape of somebody not being able to say can you do it again but with this twist or this like yeah. you can see the creative vibe, yeah. if you will, of person, like if, if I ask you to do a new choice and then yeah. you come up with a new interesting choice, like, that may not be the choice I, I want, but I can see the wheels turning. This guy's got it. Yeah. This guy I can work with. This guy will, will add and grow and become something with me. And that is everything. So that's but what it, wasn't it similar? Like uh, we're talking a uh, Brian Cranston, right? Wasn't there a similar thing with that with with uh, Breaking Bad? Oh, a hundred percent, right? Brian, because they weren't able to take him out of the mid. They were uh, was it, it was Malcolm in the Middle. They yeah. weren't able to get that out of people their thought head. he could only be Hal. Yeah, and uh, and and the, and and the the Breaking Bad people said and they kept saying no and kept we, saying no this, even he's after the guy. he. I mean, I was like, what kind of I mean, he was so amazing right. in it that what kind of audition did he give with? As they were still giving right. a pushback because it's like that thing and i feel like there's that's the part that's but the also, goal that you have to figure out like how do you change that they're they get brian cranston they're dreaming of of getting uh you know kevin coster they're dreaming oh, of getting yes. a star yeah. saying brian cranston he's not going to be a star like not realizing that television makes stars and yeah. television creates stars it doesn't just trade on stars yeah i mean it's one of the problems with the movies now is there's you know, there's no stars left it's like we're well yeah now it's yeah tv isn't churning up enough stars and movies aren't creating enough stars but i but you say you got this this part i ended up, I ended up doing it i won't because i don't want to like uh uh rat out people right. but um now how do i do it without but the movie is it's i i honestly feel it is personally I feel like it's uh, it was some of my best work that's great and I felt and I feel really good about it well no one will know what it is because <laughs> you do your great work in everything <laughs> so we can you. just assume so, yeah it, and, I, and I'm and, and I'm so and I, and look at the end of the day uh, they ended up taking a chance on me right it, d despite all of this uh, all of every this every job uh, every job true. they're taking a chance true. on you right that is true. they do a, take a chance on me every job <laughs> and sometimes I fulfill the, the hope and the promise and sometimes I disappoint I hope it's I hope I disappoint less than the fulfilling time. but I didn't know you were a poker player with this whole all I kept thinking was I have I, I had a poker game last night like if you play poker you need to come and play poker I'll play I'm playing tonight of course are I'll you play. oh my yes. god okay so we need to yes. play poker I, I, I would love it I would love it I play stupid games and I play serious we, games we, and I play so everything we, that's the thing that some people don't like it so we don't do just Texas Hold'em yeah we do dealer's choice Great. and people pick up like crazy games I have I have but see games. I didn't know that about of you course. I probably would have invited you to a ballet before All I would right. have invited yes. you no, but I mean, that's the thing. I, I think people put, we all put each other in little boxes and that's just what we do. I mean, the, uh, a few, a little while ago, a few years ago, maybe now, you came to me with an, a writing idea. Yes. And I thought, well, I didn't know he was a writer, but why not? You know, like, like, um, you were actually very positive about it. Yeah, you, were, because, you were like, look, Riz, because I was like, I need somebody to write this for me. <laughs> and you're like, Riz, I think you can do this, yeah, which no, was really, really. Right, but I mean, that, but, the, but the, the truth is, I'm, I started as an actor in a stand up comic and then I became a writer. And then, yeah. became, like, the boxes for me, in my own mind, are, are, are less firm uh, for me. And hopefully, I'm a little bit more open with other people too about that. But it's human nature to say, oh, that guy is from the Italian yep. restaurant. He must only eat Italian food. <laughs> it's like, you really, your brain makes bad decisions when you try and figure out who people are. And people are making, constantly making bad decisions about me. But Not, you know what you what you just said made, just made me think of it in another way as well is that, because I was, I came to you and I was like, I can't do this. We might be doing that to ourselves as well. Oh, we might for be sure. putting ourselves into like we're constantly doing that. Right. As well, well, I think also we're just that's. I think imposter if, syndrome. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> like, like if you're not, I don't think you don't think necessarily you, it's impossible for you to be a writer. I think you think it's hard and you don't want to fail at that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And it's scary. And who uh, like that's that's fear. Yeah. Fear is speaking rather than like like I guarantee you. Uh, you probably have done it already. I guarantee you, you can write, you can direct, you will, uh, you act, all I'm the ready. stuff. <laughs> well, you've you've done enough of this to know how all that stuff yeah. works, so that you're ready to do it when you want to do it, or have done it already. Have you directed? I have not. Okay. I, uh, well, 
a very long time ago. Right. We, I, I shot a movie on mini DV, okay. a feature length film. <laughs> All right. Uh, on do you remember mini DV? Yeah, I do. And we sold it. So I guess I directed that okay, movie, great. but like right. this was like right. Okay. So but, I don't want to call myself a director, right, but, but, but we did do it on mini DV, which is like you right. know. But you're aware <laughs> of all the things because you made that little movie. Yeah. You're aware that if you have a room, if you have a, a scene where it takes place in a room with a couch and a TV, you have to make sure to get the couch yeah. and the TV yeah. <laughs> and you have to make sure to get the actors to show up on time and make sure that they're wearing something that's not the same color as the couch, you know, and it's like, okay, well, that's that's mostly what directing is, making sure that's that- it. Oh my, well, yeah. I can do that tomorrow. Yeah, I know you can. <laughs> so tell me when the hardest, what's the hardest thing then as a brown person, yeah. what's the hardest thing to convince have you ever gone up for a part which was did not say, you know, an ethnicity or anything and just say like to do it? And was it was that did they take any convincing or was it just I'm just going to show my humanity and that will be enough? It's it still does. It still takes a lot. Of, it still takes a lot of convincing. It's a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, I would have to, I would tell you that b before, like we're talking pre 2010, the before times, the before times, yeah. there was not, it was all, it, right. it, it had to actually be like, we're looking for somebody Indian or South right. Asian. Like that was, right. that was the case. It was, so there was no looking out. Like right. they, that was the box that you were put in. There never, and there was, there was ranges. So like, you know, we, like you said, you had 40, I would go, but there wouldn't be 40 people who were like sort of Rizwani type. Right. There was everybody, every single, brown indian south right. whatever actor was there right and it could be like from 20 to 80 right. and they were like we're just looking for somebody um right. indian um it's gotten a lot better right. but it's still i i sometimes feel like um e even with you know you you know how like how it works with networks and the the they had this like we have this diversity quotient so now we need to have we're gonna like with NBC they're like we right. need if you have this many series regulars two of them need to be diverse mm -hmm. but what they're what they haven't been doing is is having the people that are in in the room who are creating it so somebody like say if I was gonna write something I'm gonna write the people that I know so my dad is right. gonna be my like you know what I mean so I would I, a lot of the times and it's changing but a lot of times I'd be going in and um. And I'd be reading for something that the writer had written as their white best friend. Right. But now the network has said, you need to make that person not. And I would be trying to like, and I was like, I'm never going to be this guy's friend. Does that make sense? I'm never, <laughs> I'm like, not that, I'm like, right. I'm never going to, I'm never going to be what he, what he is right. because of, so it sometimes feels like it's like putting, what right. is that term? Like putting a square. Listen, in a, I don't know you can be Joey is. Greenberg. <laughs> There's not a problem. You absolutely can be Joey Greenberg and it's not an issue. Which is like you, the part that you wrote for, I thought it was real. it was fun, because you wrote a character that was supposed to be this. It was a different ethnicity and right. you wrote it that way mm -hmm. and it was the part of the and he came in and it worked right, right. like the right. rhythm worked and it was a right. multi-camera comedy sometimes you're like this is not my this is not my rhythm because right. it's written in a different person this is the guy this guy saw right but I, so what i've done is and what's worked for me and, and i even when i like talk to my actor friends i'm like there's you, something written. Are they really friends? These actors. No, because I'm competing with them, so I give them bad advice. Exactly. No. <laughs> <laughs> you stab each other. Let's be honest. You, we you hate do. each other. We kind of do. Yes. We kinda okay. Do. Yeah. But I say you kind of have to go in and be like, I'm gonna do this as it has to be as me, even right. though it's written. And then if it needs to be changed, and I think the first pilot that I ever ever booked was I I did it and I actually changed some. I changed the lines because it was. It was it was actually written for somebody Vietnamese. Okay. And I went in. Right. And I'm not Vietnamese. And I changed the lines right. and they laughed so hard because they were like, Oh, this could work right. this way. Because they hadn't thought, you know what I mean? But and then I ended up getting the part. So But you said the creator's not in the room now. What do you now, mean by that? How well, how does a producer, writer, creator not in the room? No, in what do you mean? Like you said earlier, like I'm trying to audition for something to be the creator's best friend or, and they're not there. No, no, not that they're not there. I'm saying that I I when when they're like the you, creator's writing right. something you can't about, be that character i can't be i can't be what he envisioned right. in his head some so other i have version. to be some yeah. other yes. version of it right. and that's the part that's been the trickiest to sort of but why i guess i guess i would as a writer i would say why couldn't you be joey greenberg in other words I guess, you did yeah. not not maybe i changed the name yeah but the last name but i mean why why not be that guy, that I, guy? I guess i i i guess my i i i'd, I'd ask you so 
I'm sure you've written a part and then network says we want to do it uh, do it this way. Is it hard for you to then reimagine it that way or you're sort of like I'm I come sometimes f- like would you push back and be like no this or you're Very rarely is it a problem where somebody's background is it makes them ruin a yeah. thing. I mean yeah. sometimes it's a problem now that if I want to have a character who is stupid or uh or 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 money grubbing or yeah. something like that we don't want to put one of the two you know ethnic people in that position and that's, a, and that's another <laughs> and that's a whole nother thing you know, so would, like yeah. okay well that uh, the, yeah so then what then you have to figure out what was funny about this character what can we do with this character that make yeah. them funny because yeah. funny comedy comes from flaws yeah so exactly where can the flaws be in this person that we can all have fun with and exploit that doesn't come off as a uh, racist or yeah. you know so that's that's something but wiping that away I, because i don't really live in that world wiping that away yeah. it's like anybody could be anything yeah like that to me anybody could be anything and that works for me and then again and then it comes back to that same point it's like maybe it's it's it was like i'm better at it but maybe it was my own insecurities right like it was all it was me going in going oh they're not really looking for me and then i would like to have roles where and i do that we do this all the time we say like all ethnicities we put that on the thing and we mean that so if if somebody with uh, some ethnic background is willing to play my you know the the idiot vain you know character then great (laughs) then great i want to see that person i want to see that that danny devito person of whatever ethnicity i want to see them people being able to make fun of themselves in any way shape or form i don't want to have to worry about the protecting them because of their background but i want to make universally make fun of everybody yeah all writing to me is about those flaws and also their superpowers the 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 people have flaws and and great qualities and you exploit both in a character yeah and then you have something wonderful you know so so but times are touchy yeah and that and that's and (laughs) And and i'm aware of that and that was also another that that you you touched on that as well is that you know with all the sometimes we we get so far in the other direction that we can't play the villain anymore. We can't play the the because those are the things that are the like well, we get to be the dumb guy I and get, I get to be the villain and because we also right. have flaws. Like right. we well, also all if of I things. have a handsome young AJ, <laughs> yeah. then I can have That's the right. dumb you, stupid yeah. Riz, and yes. then it was all great. And then yeah, then, yeah, then yeah, it all yeah, works. Yeah, 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 but yeah. it's like you do. I do understand why perception is it's, if, there's, if there's one person to cast of one that's thing right it's not it's gonna very, work it's very hard because it's, it's very gonna hard. seem like oh we're, we're we're hitting we're hitting this one ethnic group in the teeth and we also get in and then i there was a whole thing about accents as well which gets into a which gets into a, a situation right. as well which was like i actually um I there, there's a lot of. Do you struggle uh, between the Ontario and Calgary accents? That's, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good at distinguishing. <laughs> okay, good. Um, but I always feel like I'm okay with doing accents if they're if the j- joke's not on the accent. Like right. if there's an actual um, tr- like truth to it, because I think that I think that there is humor to be had in For this. Sure. And why should we not use it? And why should we be limited limited from that? I always go, is there is there a, a truth to this person? Right. And is there like, uh, especially if you're on a show for like not just one or right. two episodes, and is there like, is this person is this character three dimensional? I think we all we almost get caught up on, oh well, this is stereotypical because of this, right. and and uh, sometimes you know now it's even because I was born in Canada, so right. now is it is it okay for Rizwan to do an accent because he was born is here? It? If you're gonna ask me, I'm saying I'm asking. of course because yeah. I mean if Meryl Streep can do an accent and win an Oscar, right. why can't I do the accent of my dad? I why agree. am I not allowed to do the accent? Of course, of my, and why is that now stereotypical and and, and racist? and why are we not allowed to be funny uh, and so it, but it's a it's a fine line between going you're the joke right like you're just you're the right. joke it's one thing you're being part of the joke right. and then the joke is on you like we're just gonna have this guy come in right. and do an Indian accent we're all gonna just laugh at him that's a difference than actually being a part of the 
of the right. Well, I mean, here's an example of of. So I was on The Simpsons at the beginning of The Simpsons. Yes, I was part of the group that created Apu. Yes. Okay, so Apu. Oh yes. We 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 wrote Apu what we thought was writing with love. Yeah. And with care. Yeah. And we made him a family man with a big family, hard worker, exhausted by running yeah. a convenience store. Um, you know, he had his own strange peccadillos and 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 ideas about what America was because he's a an immigrant to the to the country. So but we thought we were we were humanizing yeah. a character and making him interesting. And and turns out that character was hurting a lot of people's feelings. Yeah. So we stopped we, I was long gone from the show, but they stopped using yes. that character. Certainly the character was was played voiced by a white actor, so yeah. that was upsetting. And then in addition to his portrayal, his very existence yeah. was bothering so uh, I, enough people. So I, I, I you've seen the documentary yeah. who uh, Hari yeah. Kandabalu is right. uh, he's amazing. Yeah. Um and I think for me, the issue with The Simpsons, because it was it's been the biggest joke between our community. Like right. we always laugh. Like when they when they, when you'd go into an audition and the casting director would right. be like, Can you do an accent? And right. we'd be like, they want Apu from right. The Simpsons. So we would be like playing, you know, we right. would all laugh about it. And I think the part that hurt about that was that you had a character. And because it wasn't it wasn't um, being voiced by somebody who was right. part of our community, right. we could feel we could feel no connection to it, right? right? So we were like, "You're making fun of us," right? Right? And so that's what the exist the and, and that's not to say that Hank Azaria is not an amazing actor and Got amazing it, yeah. all these things, but to or, us, it felt right. like you guys were right. making fun of us, and that probably was not the intention. But again, no, it definitely was. It was we wanted oh, to make people want... feel horrible. That's what we were trying to do. So thank God you got the message. And then we got it. And message then, received. And then a documentary gets made exactly. twenty years later. No, of course we didn't want to do that. Of course we but didn't. But I, I, I don't know why they see. In my opinion, yeah. why did they get rid of it and not cast? Why not give that that amazing thing now to a South Asian actor? I think who could because have done it, it wasn't the complaint that were heard wasn't just it was being voiced by uh, Hank Azaria, and the reason it was voiced by Hank Azaria at the beginning is because we he was doing a lot of roles. We did yeah. four. We had yeah. four actors, yeah. and they did every, all the roles. That's right. And That's so right. they did everything. Yeah. Um. You know, white, they played black people, everybody, yeah. because we had four actors. Yeah. Uh, as it came up. Very going, happy and that concern. was, and that's part of our issue as well, yeah. right? Like, I don't know if the documentary touched on this, but like, our problem is that we, if 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 you did, like, let's say at that time, because it was, we're still talking about, if that if that would have been gone to right. India, then the Indian actor could have played multiple, but we couldn't even get into that level, right? right? right. Like, we couldn't, even, we couldn't get it. Forget about one of four, we couldn't be in the top. 200 list of actors that we're going to be doing. Understood. And so that was our only in and then right. we lose it. Right? right. And so I think that was what okay, the but, issue And was. I think the reason why they just stopped it, because it was not just the voice. It was the portrayal of a of a of an Asian man yeah. at behind the counter of a of a 7-Eleven. Yeah. And that is, you know, there aren't other, you know, South Asian characters that populating the show. It's just this one yeah. guy, and it's like yeah. until we sort of until we have a bigger population of yeah. people, then you don't have just that one guy because yeah. it's hurting people's feelings. Yeah, and that's the thing is if it and and I have to say that um, it 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 was a very um, it was a thing that we talked about all yeah. the time. The things the things that if you go to any comedy club right. like a, an Indian stand up comedy, the two jokes they would have would. 100% it would always be Apu from The Simpsons mm -hmm. and why for the longest time I know they had it later but why there was no um, Indians on ER when literally you can't go to right. a, a, you can't go to a, a, like right. an ER without right. seeing like at least half the population being South Asian well, so that was the two jokes right. that we would have so <laughs> now we're in uh, 2023 going into 2024 and the world has changed a little yeah. bit yeah. there are much more uh struggle to be inclusive yeah. much more and and uh, uh you know it's it's mandated it's not yeah. just a struggle it's like yeah. people want it yeah audiences want it and networks want it and they think it's commercial and yeah. it's a good idea and they're, so seeing, they're seeing that they're seeing uh, they're obviously seeing the the financial benefits from it as well there i are. mean i think that not was the number one show that the number the number one streaming show for the longest time has been Squid Game, right? Like it's like not even like you, it's like a global phenomenon. Right. Well, but that doesn't count because it's not really that's not a diverse show. Not it's a diverse, but I'm saying that it
I use that as an example because we don't, it's not the same fa- The We we were always accustomed to believe that the same faces are going to sell, are, are going to be the ones. And it's a, yeah. it's something that you didn't but see. But that's never been true of TV. TV mm, yeah. is, is a place where stars are made, yeah. where where you create. Well, they try to have. Now the, now the big A-list stars are doing TV, right. so they're so still trying right. to do it. But I mean, <laughs> always television used to be yes. at least the place where people on a weekly basis got to know a character yeah. and through that they got to love an actor Absolutely. or actress and that was how stars were made and yeah. people became huge shit stars less so now that people stop watching tv quite as much and ratings well, do you think lower. it's because of been because you binge because you've seen them all within like the span of three weeks instead of over the course of seven years i think because there's too many shows to follow. We don't all, as a community, as a people, are we're not all watching Seinfeld anymore. Like we're not watching it together. We're all split up in different places, watching at different times, and it's uh, we don't have that moment where we're all together and we can extol one show and lift it up. There's it was, is there? Do you think it's not possible to make stars anymore? It is, but one of the things that would help it is doing a weekly. Yeah. every week at the same time showing a, a yeah. something so that there's an appointment yeah. that people will watch. People get excited about having an appointment yeah. to a show. We do binge, but some people, I still haven't seen, uh, uh, there's some shows that like I've not seen, they're the greatest shows in the world. I'm trying to think of the the, the one that's- um, uh, Ted Lasso? No, I've seen, I've seen Ted Lasso. This is the show about crime in Baltimore that uh, it's a it's a mini series. Oh, was about, the uh, not um, uh, it's, it's homicide. Called, not homicide, but called the, the something. Wire. The, the wire. wire. The that wire. Was the wire. Yes. Okay, so we're yeah. taking back. So I still haven't seen the wire. The wire is one of the greatest yeah. shows of all time. Everyone says so. Yeah. it's one of the greatest shows. But some at some point somebody binged. Yeah. we all binged the wire, and now I would could go back and watch the wire. But I didn't. I haven't. There's too much else to see. So I'm missing one of the greatest shows of all time. Well, I'll tell you what I haven't watched, and you'll probably be okay, shocked. What? Game of Thrones. I okay. have not seen a single episode of I Game of Thrones. a lot of people who have not watched the Game of Thrones. It may not be it's for like, them. That, that was like a big phenomenon. I've watched all Game of Thrones, and I watched the the other House of Dragons. Oh, yeah. I watch all that stuff. I don't know why I watch it, but I do. I, I watch feel like it. I need to just like have like three nights and just start watching it. I guess, I mean, like ultimately, if I go back and looked at it again, it was it's pretty dumb. Like it really is, <laughs> it's awfully dumb. And it's like, why Why did I get involved in this? Like, I think I think the sort of weird, weird world and hardcore sex brought me in. And then the sort of, I got involved in the characters as it went on. And then sort of like, the, it, this, it became less explicit sexually and more like a soap so opera. So just watch the first season. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know. Certainly don't watch it with the girls. Don't watch it with <laughs> your no, 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 daughters. No, yeah, no, watch don't watch it. it with your daughters. Oh my but, God. Uh, TV is not just TV anymore. It used to be just TV. Yeah. Now it's TV and it's video games and it's YouTube and it's TikTok. And my, my, and my kids, I don't know, you, you have- uh, I have a son. Yeah. My, my kids don't even watch TV the right. way that I watch TV. So they're watching it all on their um, the uh, phones. phones right. and, 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 you know, I, a lot of it's like my kids are not allowed to have TikTok, so it's but it ends up on YouTube Shorts. Right. So they're right. they're that's that's their like, and then every now and then they'll watch something like a television show, yeah. but it'll be on their like like little screen. I'm like, how do you watch this? It's very so it's it's different. It's very. All right, but my this doesn't really answer my big questions. Like, yeah. how do I become a big dramatic star? Oh, how do I become <laughs> the? Well, the, I have a really good answer. Okay, for what you. is that? I have a really yeah, good okay, answer yeah. for you. Because you can write yourself into a, you are a writer, right. you're amazing. So, right. but I can't cast and myself. Make sure, well, you I can. can't cast myself and get it made. Just, you can just make sure that you cast <laughs> me as well. We'll do like right. a, we'll do like a buddy comp, right. a buddy drama, right. whatever it is, dramedy maybe. And All right, we'll, well let me ask you this question because I, I think one of the keys to your versatility is you, you imagine a character. You, you read the part mm -hmm. and then you imagine who that person is. Yeah. And then you try to have fun with that idea of that person. Yeah. You don't necessarily say it's me. Now, of course, there are parts of you. That's right. But it's sort of like, okay, but it's me plus. That's right. It's me plus all these other things. And so how do you bring that creativity to the audition, to that, to that moment? Um, I, you know, I have this I have this weird thing and uh we have a mutual friend Hussein who helps me with my yes. auditions and he always gets mad at me because I very weirdly will not like I'll I'll read the 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 sides right. that we get right once 
and I'll be like, okay. And then now that it's on. By the way, there's a part for you on the, the Hussein in the show I'm that ready. we're doing. Oh, so. I'm, I'm ready to be on it. I <laughs> yeah, told him, I said, if right. you don't cast me, we're not friends right. anymore. My friend, my, <laughs> our mutual friend Hussein and I are writing a show together. So that's why we're talking about it. Yes. Um, and then for whatever reason, like right before, and, like- And by the way, everybody, I'm still Jewish. Even though <laughs> I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay, this is fine. This is not a kind of situation, it's no, this is fine. This is my choice. Right. <laughs> um, so I will like, right before we're gonna right. like tape the audition, um, I don't know why, it, like literally like 30 minutes before I'll look at it and I'm praying and okay. usually does right. that something, not praying like no, as it's like, just like something, something will Comes come to, to me right. about this thing. And a lot of the times it worked. Like right. I'll be like, this is the choice. And then I'm really good about going, making, making a choice and then committing to right. it. Does that make sense? It totally and then makes sometimes sense. Uh, Hussein will be like this, like usually it's like, yeah, as long as you make it and you commit right. to it and it's not, it's not always right. But sometimes you'll be like, you know, try something else because this is not right. working. But usually I'm, I'm like, cause at the end of the day, if you're committed to it, it'll, it'll, it'll work. The thing also great actors have this, you have this, which is when you're reading the script, you get the joke. In other words, that's more than half the battle. I, and, and with, and honestly with multicam, which I, is honestly my favorite and I'm mm -hmm. so sad that there's not yeah. uh, a lot of multicam. But I actually find it like when I'm working with people too, I'm like, I find that part easy because I see the, like, right. I'm like, it's like math. Right. I'm like, I get where the joke is going to be. Obviously it's harder in the, in single camera, but right. you know, for us, we have sensibility of what's funny right. and like, you know, where, where the, where the line is supposed to but go. Pulling back for single camera to be, to be able to pull back just a little bit to make it real yes. for single camera doesn't seem like that big a task as long as you still get it's, what's it, funny. It, yes, but I think it's it's sometimes like I've gotten scripts where like, wait, I don't I don't see where the where the funny is and you have to but with well, multi cam that's just a shitty script. <laughs> that's just a shitty script. And you I get plenty of those. That. Yeah. Well I've gotten well the thing is sometimes get we get we're not the you know, we'll get the the because I'm not the number one on the call sheet and they get all the funny right. lines and you're like, wait, I can I have to just be the right. doctor who says you have cancer and somehow this is in a comedy. Um, and so, yeah, sometimes right. it is hard. <laughs> right. Okay. So now I have other segments of the show. I must move on. So okay. this is yeah. great. So I'm going to go to our, our next topic, our next thing, which is uh, uh, question time. It's question time. Oh, so no. I'm going to give you a question yeah. that you're going to pick. So it's there are written out pre preconceived questions okay. that are really hard life questions, and so you have to pick a, a letter b uh, between A and G and a number between one and eighteen, and then I will read the question. Oh, and, and there's a D. Oh well, yeah, hold on D, oh. D seven, D seven. You're saying it like there's a right or wrong answer. There's no I'm right scared. or wrong. Scared. Okay, well here you it is. frightened me. I didn't know we were doing this. D seven. <laughs> okay. Well, it's interesting because it's going to uh, inter interfere a little bit with the the viewer mail, but it's it's combination. Oh, okay. Actually, then, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna take the question that yeah. you had. Uh, the question is, what brings the most joy in life, and how do you make time for these activities? That's the question. So, so what makes the most joy in life? What makes the most joy in life? Um, I. It's gonna sound so mundane. Yeah, and so Pedantic, cheesy. Cheesy. Uh, Your kids, my kids. Of course. I mean, there's, is there another answer? Like, no. I feel like if I didn't, and they were really about, but it really is. Of course. And sometimes it 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 actually, it's it's. I think it's also the most guilt I feel because sometimes they'll be like, you know, you're tired, you're like freaking out. There's right. no like sag after something. Right. Like the world is falling down, and that, and my right. daughter looks like, can you play ping pong right. with me? And I'm like, I can't do this right, right. now. And then I'm like, Heart at broken. night, right. at like three in the morning right. when she's asleep, right. and I'm like. Why didn't I do this? Because I I say it, I feel it, right. but at that moment, I'm like, I can't You'll never do get this. that moment so back. So it's like the most joy and also the most right. hurt, I feel. Right. And so, the, so uh, it makes total sense that uh, spending time with your kids is the most fun, although it's the good kid. The bad kid, <laughs> you hate. Come on, let's be honest. You have three, right? My, my, I was, it, yeah. He's not the bad kid, but my son does not. He's like, I, I we drove to San Diego right. yesterday to uh -huh. see my friend in a show. Okay. So we were in the car for five hours right. together. 
and I was like, are you gonna, are we gonna, like, are we gonna chat? Right. Do you want to? No, I'm not shit. Fell asleep for a while. Was okay. on his spot. I think we might have exchanged maybe a sentence. Right. Sometimes or two. shitting with your dad. <laughs> Just sitting. There. Shitting with, is is an exchange. Is, is an exchange. I was like, well, we did for five hours, okay. so I felt like we did something. How old is he? He's twelve. Okay, so I mean, how old's yours? He's a, he's. 22. 22. 22. Wow. Uh, sometimes that exchange of sitting in the room and, and talking about nothing is really talking about something. Okay. And so, so I don't feel that bad. I was like, okay, we did feel, something. No, you should feel bad. <laughs> no, I want you to feel bad. That whole was a wasted trip. Five hours. Five you hours. You got no insight had, into him at all. My, my wife was like, did you talk about this? Did you right. talk about this? I was like, no. Mm, I have a picture which I right. want to show you of him learning right. this. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. But, uh, but no, it, it's good. I think, you know, one of the reasons, you know, uh, people go to baseball games with their dads is so that you don't have to talk. You can talk about the game. Oh, that's... You talk about that other thing. And men, yeah. men don't often talk oh. with each other. They talk, talk. I mean, I'm, I'm a talker, but I'm a, lot, a talker lot, of, lot of guys don't talk. They talk looking yeah. at something else and they talk around things, but they don't, they certainly don't talk about their feelings. Yeah. They talk about facts and stuff like that. So. You know, it's hard. It's hard to sort of really get in deep sometimes, yeah. and to force that deep conversation is awkward and stupid sometimes. So I don't know. I, I think yeah. what you did having that that five hours. Think of that five hours as prelim to another conversation you're going to have later. And that gives you permission <laughs> to have that conversation because you sat in a car, in a listened car to shitty time. radio for yes, five hours. Yes, we listened to a bunch of podcasts. Exactly. By the way. Okay, good. <laughs> this one? Did you listen See, to this one? No. <laughs> You will. We, I will, will listen will. to this okay. one. All right, very good. I want your son to be an avid fan, a subscriber he's, he's to Don't going, Be Alone with Jake Hogan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so the next, I'll bring to the next thing, which is the uh, viewer mail section. There's a little, there's a jingle we hear. Oh. Now it's time for Listener Mail. And this is from Mike, and this is why I say it overlaps. Mike wrote, do you think funny people are happier in life then people who are very serious. And then he wrote, what is the point of life? Is it just to be happy? So let's take it in two parts. Are serious people, are happy people, are funny people happier than serious people? That's such a hard question. I know, well, hey, it's not my problem, it's yours. <laughs> oh wait, yeah. you're not gonna help me answer? No. I thought you'd don't be alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll what jump, I'll jump don't in be a second. Alone, I have an opinion, go. I have an opinion, but I wanna hear yours. Um, so. Just from what I've heard, because mm. of all the com the the comedians that I know, like right. Robin Williams, sure. and I mean, there's a, a he's list happy, of them. right? Oh, oh wait, so oh, sad. did I miss something? Is there, was there a piece of news <laughs> no. I I don't oh, know about? No. Oh no, okay. <laughs> but I've heard that there it's the, and you know, I'll have to say for my own self because growing up in Calgary, right. uh, um, you know, not being very good at basketball or ice right. hockey, which mm -hmm. is what everybody was playing. Right. How you find your 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 way to sort of fit right. in was to make, like I would make jokes in class, sure. like I was the class clown. So there is a little bit of like coming from the like hurt is right. where the humor comes from. So I do believe there's a, so I, I, I I mean, I don't know how, I'm not very, a, 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 the serious person or whatever they're saying, but, right. but I would say, yeah, I mean, I think it's, okay. I think but, everybody but has I mean, their trauma. Thing, everybody has their trauma. Of course, but the thing, that the, the sort of stereotype is the comedian is an angry, angry, sad, person who is covering their sadness with humor because they're because and they're and you're funny in Calgary because you're afraid of getting beaten up so you do I don't know if I'd take it that but I mean that's far. the stereotype yeah yes yeah, yeah yeah but I disagree with the stereotype okay so I, I feel like that that there are just as many miserable serious That's people what, yeah, yeah. as there are <laughs> happy, all, yeah. pe funny people, and it's better to be funny than it is to be serious because, because life is better when you're true. funny. That's true. That's true. Life is better. The more laughs, the better. And also, there's a little bit of joy you get from other people laughing. You know what I mean? Well, you're seeing other. So there's a little right. bit. Of, so you're getting a little bit of joy from right. that. That's a successful life strategy of making people laugh and laughing at other people. That's a successful I'm not saying that people don't enjoy being making people sad because right. I'm sure there's a little bit of what, what would you wish upon your kids? You don't wish them a serious life, that's you right. wish them a joyous yes. life. You're right, you're right. right. Okay. See, this is why I need Yeah, to well that's why we don't, this is why we're we not, shouldn't be alone. alone. We're not, we're not alone. alone. Uh, and then here's the bigger, tougher question. What is the point of life? Is it just to be happy? Is happiness the point of life? Um. I'm going to answer this simply and just say 
Yeah. Okay, you're wrong. Okay, wrong. <laughs> Let me tell you why. It's like a yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. you tell me. No, now. no. <laughs> maybe, maybe you could be right. I think the point of life isn't necessarily to be happy. I think the point of life is to experience life in its joyous moments and its sorrowful moments. Yeah. And that accumulated experience and how you handle each experience and maybe how you handle the next one differently or better yeah. and how you grow is the point of life. Well, I think ultimately, see, I, I mean, I'll, I'll sort of amend my answer is that, yes, there is the goal to be happy, but obviously you, you can't, there has to be a dichotomy. Otherwise, how do you know what, you know what I mean? There, there's there's the sorrow that right. has to happen or how would you even realize, you know what I mean? That there's- Right, but you it, have to, I mean, life isn't, 100% happiness. Life is a lot of trials and tribulations. Yeah. Life is about sometimes you audition and audition and audition for that yeah. great part and you don't get yeah. it. And it's a kick in the teeth. And sometimes yeah. you do and it's fantastic. Yeah. And then it turns out to be one of your favorite things. Like it's, there's there's trial, triumphs and failures and mistakes and lucky accidents. And But, but are we not all like, I guess the, this is, a, uh, I mean, I want an existential yeah. question, but like, are we, is now what we're all striving, like, what are we striving for then? At the end of the day, the goal is, like, I'm, at, I guess, Mike, because he's asking you what the point On is, your right? Deathbed. What's the goal? Right. What like, happened? At the end of the, at the end of the day, you're going to be like, people are going to ask you, well, were you happy? Did you, did you enjoy your life? Did you, I mean, I, I guess, know, is there I a think point? at the end of the day, they said, what did you, did you accomplish? What, what did, did you accomplish? accomplish? What did you do? What did you learn? How did you grow? I don't think they're going to ask if I was if I was I happy. Said, really? I was I like, did you did, did you did you was this what, did you do everything that I guess that's right. Did you do? But that also makes you like accomplishment is what makes you happy, right? Like, Can and be. some people it's not. People, some people just want to be content, right. right? And some people enter into stupid things like podcasts, thinking it's going to make them happy, <laughs> and then it turns out to make them miserable. It's the saddest thing in the oh world. Oh my god, did I make you miserable? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't know until you do it, and then you try it, and then you realize, oh, this was a terrible, terrible mistake. Um, but we'll, we'll know, you know, soon enough, but no, it's the ex ex experience. I, again, my son, 22, I wish him great things. I also wish him early on yeah. to make some terrible mistakes. Yes. I wish he, I wish that he would have a horrible girlfriend early and not so that, later. Yeah. I want him to ter have a terrible job early yeah. and not later. But I'm, so the goal would be so that he would be happy. Exactly. So he'll have an experience and learn from that experience yeah. and grow. And so later on, as he matures, he knows the difference and he knows what's right and he knows what's true for him and yeah. all those kind of things. So I, I think uh, a, a life of happiness is not necessarily a life of learning and growing and a life of action. Yeah. What would what did you do? Who did you love? Who did you help? Uh, who did you hurt? Who did you like all those yeah. things? Those are those are questions about life. That's the point of life. If there is a point. That's the point. If there is a point, yeah. If there is yes. a point, yeah. I mean, that's that's uh, mm -hmm. if that's Mike. If that was your question, I uh, I've thoroughly answered. Did it. Did he have another part to it, or that no, was no? That it? was two parts. Do you think funny people are happier, and or, or and what is the point of life, and uh, is it to be happy? And so Interesting. I don't know. So I, very I, I, deep. We can't do better. Very deep. It is very deep. Okay, and and um, I'm going to uh, ask you one more thing, which is this is the moment of joy. A moment of joy. So I ask my guests, because I don't have enough joy in my life, what is the thing, and you can't use your kids because you yeah, already, I said, already it. said my kids. You already no, said yeah, your yeah, kids. Yeah. What's something in life that just, ah, it just makes you happy. It just makes me happy. It just makes you And maybe the incest scenes in Game of Thrones. Oh my when, God, which when I have not come up, seen. When they, not, they, they may come up and maybe, <laughs> maybe it's too early to answer this yet. Recently, I, I don't know what it is because my mind is so like um, there's so much as you know right. I mean I there's so much going on in the world and I know we talked about it earlier but I because it happened yesterday and I just feel like I'm really happy playing poker because okay. my mind is is able to focus on like all the math right. and all the uh, the but, gamesmanship and I'm like but who a... are you playing with um, I'm playing with uh, buddies some, buddies yeah. yeah yeah so that's that that's and part we fight. Of... Yeah, but there's course. a little bit of it that we, I mean, we got into a big fight yesterday okay. and I was like, there's still a part of it that's like, you know, I mean, we're fine now, right. but like, you know, there's this, yeah. there's camaraderie, right. there's like gamesmanship sure. and there's, and I, yeah, 
I mean, but like if you were playing at that uh, in, in Commerce Casino, just at a table full of eight, yeah. you know, straight faced, sad people. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't you're be, right. No, it would not it's be not the same. It's not the same poker. It's not. It's, it's the, the playing right. with you're right. friends. You're right. Right. You're right. Because I've tried to sit at Commerce Casino with with all those oh, people. I have. And somebody, it's... I think somebody was literally not <laughs> at some point like. They were sitting at the table. They stopped dealing with them. They had not moved for like an hour. <laughs> right. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, they may have been dead. I don't know what's going it's on okay. at Commerce Casino. Yes. As long as they, <laughs> they every now and then, you seem, they seem dead. And then a second later, they order noodles. <laughs> <laughs> then they come back to life. And then they seem dead again. Wait, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, but that's great. All right. Well, that is a great moment of joy. All right. So um, I think that that's... That's one more one more shot at me. So, yeah. if you, what would you be surprised to, and to, to burst out of my my little corner of the world? Yeah. What would be for you? Yeah. What would you be surprised at? Oh, Jay Kogan. What would, like you heard a week from now, two two weeks from now, Jay Kogan does X. Like if you heard Jay Kogan, uh, Jay Kogan was arrested for for doing Molly. Oh my god. For doing Molly. <laughs> would you be surprised at that? Would you think that, like, I'm trying to think of things people don't necessarily think of me doing. Like, I don't I think I, I don't do Molly. I think I would. I think I would be really. I, would I think be, I. I think you just. I think I would just be shocked at the first. Like, we don't even have to get. I think. <laughs> I think I'd just be. Shocked. Jay Kogan was, was arrested. arrested. Right. Okay. I think I'd be really okay. shocked. So maybe that's how I break out of my my, my little preconceived notions. Arrested? I have to get arrested. Or I have to. I have to I'm do so something. glad I could help you. <laughs> so I have to now, how do we get you arrested? I, well, that I can do. <laughs> I can figure that out myself. There's lots of ways to get arrested. So I'll take care of that myself. So Rizwan, thank you for thank being you. here. It's such a pleasure. I want to thank you uh, for coming. I called you and you came and it's so nice. And that was so uh, much fun. And I can't wait to play poker with you. I'm going to yes. hold you to that. No, no. Absolutely. I'm gonna... Well, I'm yeah. gonna take your money. Does Hussein I, play? Does he, he play? He he plays a little bit. Then he 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 can only do like he he, he has like an he hour. And then he's like, I can't do it. He anymore. doesn't play. That's <laughs> he telling doesn't, me he doesn't, play. he doesn't play. He's not a player. He's playing to <laughs> sit with people, but he doesn't play. Oh my god, you okay. have to you have to come. Okay, I'm 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 in. I'm in. Um, All right. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank you for sharing your time with me, some of your stories with me. I appreciate it. And uh, uh, you know, now uh, like I want. All the I'm trying to figure out a nickname for people who watch this show. The Don't be alone with Jake Hogan. I'm thinking of uh, Don't be aloners. Oh, maybe that's good. is that good? Don't I want be aloners. Don't be aloners. Be aloners. Or uh, it's 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 a D B A W J K. You know, so to to debauch to debauch debauchers debauchers. I want, hey. I love both of them. Thank you. And I thank all the debaugh jerkers out there <laughs> for tuning in, spending time with us. Now I want everybody to go out in the world and share something with someone. Uh, and we'll meet back here next time. And remember, there's a great big world out there waiting for you. So don't be alone. I love that. Isn't that nice? I love it. Don't be alone with Jay Kogan.